Hey guys, this is Lionel from Guitar Junkie TV. Hi! Um, I got some requests that you guys wanted to see my gear, uh, what I've been using these years and the guitars that I've, I own and stuff like that. Yeah. So, well, without further ado, let's take a look at them. Okay, let's start with the first one. This is a 2007 American YJM uh, Fender Strat in Sonic Blue. I installed a set of Dimaggio injectors into them. I really love how these pick up sound. Uh, it comes with a scallop fretboard. Um, the common misconception of the scallop fretboard, you'll be able to play fast like Malmsteen, but that's not true. You still sound like you. <laughs> okay, this is the PRS Custom 22 in Ruby Red, made in 2003. This has the Dragon 2 pickups. Uh, very nice build guitar. Uh, the next one will be a PRS Custom 24 in Angry Larry. It has the 5708 pickups. Uh, nice birds in flight, made in 212. And moving on to my childhood fantasy guitar, this is the Washburn Nono Bettencourt N4 Vintage Relic. Comes with a elder body, uh, original Floyd Rose Tremolo, Bill Lawrence and Samuel Duncan pickups, a bird's eye maple neck and an ebony fretboard and comes with a coil split made in 2009. And here we have an Ernie Ball Music Man JP Majesty in Polar Noir. This is an absolute beast of a guitar. Uh, it has the piezo bridge system, mid boost switch, coil split switch, uh, stereo mono output, uh, and they have the Dimaggio Illuminator pickups. Insane guitar. This is a Gibson ES335 made in 2012. Uh, comes with 57 classic pickups and a vintage sunburst. And here we have Miss White Chocolate. A Gibson 61 reissue in classic white. It comes with the 57 classic pickups. Um, I kind of like this one a lot, so I think this might be a keeper. This is my number one guitar. It's a 1999 Gibson Les Paul Standard Limited Edition Yamano Gold Top. Uh, it has the bare knuckle, the mule pickups in it. RS Guitar Works vintage wiring harness. As you can see, there are a lot of check marks on this gold top. Uh, a lot of sentimental value. This is my first Gibson. The newest addition to the family will be this 21.3 Gibson Les Paul Standard in T-Burst. It has a beautiful AAA flame top and it comes with the Burst Bucker Pro pickups. Okay, and last but not least, this is a familiar face that you guys have seen a lot in my videos. Uh, this is a PRS SE Angelus Custom with an ebony fretboard and the LR Bex Lyric pickup system. Uh, okay, let's move on to my workstation. Um, this is my workstation where I do all my edits, uh, my audio recordings, my video editing. Everything is done on this terminal. So let's just run this through. This is my iMac uh, 21.3. Okay, where are the specs? Alright, these are my specs. Okay, pretty much use this. I run this on uh, Logic Pro X and Final Cut Pro X as well. Um, the next thing, my monitors. My monitors, I'm using the KRK VXT8. Um, 8 inch speakers. These are pretty good, but I think they're a bit big for my taste. I might be just downgrading them soon. Yep. And uh, this is the Avid M box, uh, which I use to filter through all my guitar effects into this thing and filter and it goes into my iMac, into my door. All right, the next thing will be oh, okay. Ah, you can never have two little picks. My trusty snug tuner. Yeah, this is great, man. Cheap and good. And my whole lot of picks and uh, stuff, yeah. Okay, the next thing will be my, um, well, I don't use this much, but there will be cases where I do, is my Novation Impulse X61. I uh, use this for sampling uh, when I'm creating music. Uh, not much for doing cover videos, but it does come in handy from time to time. And uh, yeah, and my, uh, this was one of the picks where I caught two of them actually, I had to find my way to get it when I was at the Steve Vai show. Um, decided to frame it up and this is my Metallica Media Pass and my Star Wars collection yeah so yeah uh, yeah most importantly so what runs the important all guitar sound right at the bottom here right this is my XFX2 MK or Mark II um, this is pretty much responsible for all my guitar sounds a lot of you guys have been asking me how do I get my tone and stuff well it's all in this box all in this rack. Alright, arriving at my new location, this is my office and this is my office guitar. It's a 1995 Japanese Ibanez RG550 in purple neon. Uh, as you can see, it's nicely beat up and faded. Um, a lot of dings and scratches on it. I have fitted a set of Dimaggio PAF Pro pickups in it. And this guitar is responsible for learning every single song on Guitar Junkie TV. 
Okay, this is the second half of my office setup. I have my iOS device, my iPad with me. It's connected into my audio interface, a Line 6 Sonic Port VX. Comes with a microphone and inputs for the guitar. And all this is connected into my iPad. And on my iPad, I have two main apps that I use. The first one is Bias FX by Positive Grid. This is a truly amazing piece of software for the guitarist. Um, it's inexpensive, easy to use. You got a good selection of amps to choose from. Um, drive pedals, uh, we have noise gates, compressor pedals, reverbs, delays, you name it, they have it. And for my DAW, I'm using Cubasis. Um, this is the mobile version of Cubase. Um, pretty simple to use. As you can see, I'm learning the song Strife by Trivium. Uh, that'll be next on Guitar Junkie TV. So yeah, this is my office rig. And okay, last but not least, the camera. Um, this is what I've been using since the very first day of Guitar Junkie TV. This is the Canon EOS 600D or commonly known as the T3 Rebel Eye or something like that. Um, what about the lens I'm using? Um, I'm using a, let me see, there you go, 18 to 55 mm. This is the regular default lens, so nothing special about it. Um, it comes with a lens hood, which I bought separately. Um, yeah, this pretty much works and has been working. I have no intention to change it. And yeah, so that's all for my rig rundown. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, please feel free to comment. Uh, remember to like and subscribe.